Hi, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Lectus Training on Sunday Readings. Today, we'll prepare for the readings of December 11, the third Sunday of Advent. Our reference books. A brief background poem. At the time of today's prophecy, the Assyrians have conquered the northern kingdom and the Babylonians the southern kingdom. The temple has been destroyed. The upper class citizens were forced into exile in Babylon and the land has been ravaged. The people are asking, where is God? Are we God's people or not? This prophecy in our first reading offers hope that there will be a great reversal in the people's future. This is a joyful reading. Put some excitement and joyful wonder in your tone. A few more tips for your proclamation. These lines are full of joy and hope. Kaya ang atin pong mukha at ang tone ng ating voice should be happy. Kailangan maging masaya rin tayo dito sa ating pagbabasa. Pwede pong ngumiti, hindi po bawal ngumiti sa lektor. Pwede pong ngumiti. Huwag, hindi na po kailangan tumawa. Ngiti lang po is enough. At saka yung, or yung masayang mukha. Kasi masaya po ang ating binabasa. Here, a direction is uh, being given. Emphasize every word here. Speak with firmness and conviction. Again, the tone is joy and confidence. Let me remind you, kailangan may excitement and joyful wonder ang tono ng inyong boses. Pero na lang po pagdating dito, medyo malungkot ng konte, sorrow and mourning kasi yan. And then, pagdating dito, masaya na uli. Kasi mawawala na yung sorrow and mourning. Okay. Before we proceed to reading the full text, here are a few words to focus on. Isaiah. Isaiah. Step. Ito po ay isang uh, large area of land na walang puno. Okay. Lebanon. Lebanon. Carmel, Carmel, Sharon, Sharon, pero pwede rin pong Sharon, Vindication, Vindication, Recompense, Recompense. Sa second reading, we have Precious, SH po ang tunog nito, Precious. Let me just point this out to you. Pagka po may dalawang S katulad nito, ito po ay pinag-iisa na lang to avoid putting a vowel sound here. Because some say, standing. Standing. Wala pong E. So, pag-isay na lang po ito. Standing. The judge is standing. Standing. Katulad din po nito, vowel at saka S, sa halip na who spoke, sabihin natin who spoke, who spoke. Okay. So, let's now go to the full text. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exalt. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. 
say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The Word of the Lord the responsorial psalm is a hymn of praise for all the glorious ways that God intervenes in our lives to deliver us from those things that oppress us. Again, let me just point this out. The dalawang S na magkasunod, pinag-iisa na lang po, give sight, give sight. Dalawang D na magkasunod, pag-iisahin natin, bow down, bow down. Ito ulit, dalawang S, protect strangers, protect strangers. Yeah. Responsorial song. Lord, come and save us. The Lord God keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed gives food to the hungry the lord sets captives free lord come and save us the lord gives sight to the blind the lord raises up those who are bowed down the lord loves the just the lord protects strangers lord come and save us the fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Lord, come and save us. In the second reading, James too is preparing people for the coming of the Lord. By the time the letter of James was written, that coming was overdue. James recommends patience. He looks to nature, God's creation, as model from which to interpret events. Again, a few tips for your proclamation. The tone is persuasive here. Speak slowly since patience is being recommended. Emphasize each word of this line. Slightly increase your pace. So, medyo mabilis po dito. Again, the tone is persuasive and conciliatory. Dito po. Now, speak with firmness, boldness, and emphasize this line second reading a reading from the letter of Saint James be patient brothers and sisters until the coming of the Lord See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You, too, must be patient. Make your hearts firm, because the coming of the Lord is at hand. 
do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. In our Alleluia verse, we celebrate the coming of the Messiah. Jesus comes to set us free from all that enslave us, like sin, fear, hatred, and so on. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Join me again next week for the readings of December 18, the fourth Sunday of Advent. Until then, goodbye and God bless you all. Again, thank you.